Hey guys, it's Lucario here, and I'm back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about what cheats are possible. What's the difference between offline games and online games? Well, to answer your question, I am going to use Notepad. See? Read that. Anything is possible. Here are some of the things that are possible in offline games. However, online games There, there are. I put speed hex. Those are some of the things that are possible to hack, and those are some of the possible hacks that you can do in online games. Here are some of the things that are impossible.
see. Now, see the point? Of course you don't yet. Uh, don't save. Now, to demonstrate, I'm going to open up paint. See, this is your client. As a little, let's say it's a computer, keyboard, All right. You can only hack what's on here. But if you if you're talking about online games, It, the things you do on here get sent, get sent over here. This is a server that can't be hacked. This is a game server. It has all these slots and collects bunches of data each and every day unless the unless the game is inactive. This is what the data is being stored on. Anything you do on here goes to this. All right. All right, it's hard to hack a, a game server, or maybe even impossible in some cases, because the servers are just too secure. But you'd need... to be... a hacker that can and knows a lot about coding and stuff to actually hack a server, you could even risk going to prison. This, unlimited of this, not possible. And that stands for unlimited.
This is not possible. Unless you own the servers and make changes to the code and the servers and stuff, you're not getting your free unlimited cash and stuff. Okay, you can change the value. Let's change it to eight, eight million. All right, does that, you just change the value. It's still $39,654.50. Seventy cents. All right, when I refresh the page, see so you're really not gonna that doesn't mean the prices have changed in in Bitcoin stocks. Ooh, a Pinterest. Trust Pinterest, right? Yeah, this is all a scam. Ooh, free Robux hack. Ooh, click here for free Robux. Oh, whoops. It's a survey scam. <clears throat> yep, it's a survey scam. They want your money. And they're not gonna give you squat in return Ooh, 2021 Ooh, get free robux roblox robux generator oh it's a survey scam never give them your real username Uh, and it has all this fake code and stuff. Fake code giver. Oh, there we go. Complete any two offers to verify. 
Yeah, I'm not buying that. Oh, 2020. When... Oh, another survey scam, I can guarantee you. Hey, it's on PlayStation 4. Didn't know that. Oh, why not go for the max? Oh, it wants me to give them my username. It has all this, this fake chat room and this fake... Oh, it has all this encryption and stuff. Yeah, it's not encrypting anything. Free Robux generator. Wouldn't it be nice if you could actually generate free money on your PayPal account? Oh, another survey scam. Why not go for PlayStation? See, this is just the Flash video that's playing. Trust me, it doesn't do anything. Never give them your real username. Oh, that. There you go. It's a scam. Because it doesn't exist. There's no way you can. That one is an Android scam. See, Google is the worst at knowing which cheats are real and which cheats are absolute bogus. Mm. Search HackerBot on Google. And this and go to find free cheats. Let's go for Clash of Clans Hack 2021. In there you might want to enter which which platform you're using The browser doesn't, your browser doesn't know which are scams and which offer real cheats. The ones on HackerBot won't be as awesome as the, as the impossible stuff.
What happens if you do complete a survey? Either nothing will happen. You might have your account information sold to other players, like really, with, like really rich ones. They might hack your account. They might give you a fake. Or if you're really unlucky, they might have you download a virus. If, if there was a hack that allowed you to unban accounts or or give you un, unlimited money, developers would stop making money themselves and and then find out, oh, this player has these things did he pay for it then they check and then they say nope he didn't so they then they're gonna then they roll back everything same goes for accounts unbanning account hacks they're gonna be like, did this person get unbanned by us? Nope. So they're just going to roll back everything. So, yeah. Because if they banned you, they're not, they're not going to give up the ban unless they're convinced by an appeal. So yeah, everything would be patched by then. Everything would be patched after they took a look. The servers would servers would be patched and everything would be everything would be shut down until there was a patch. So, yeah. A server, like I mentioned in a previous video, is stores a lot of data and is probably like far off into some into someone's basement or a back room or something like that. Unless you own that server, you can't make the changes like unlimited money and stuff so yeah that's pretty much it that's why these these so-called hacks are impossible 